Greetings everybody, this is Dr. Michael Smith coming to you this morning. Just wanted to say good morning, I'm on my way to work. Uh, God is good, we're blessed and highly favored. I'm enjoying the beautiful, gorgeous weather in Colorado. And uh, yesterday was about 70 degrees during the early part of the day. It turned as we went into the night and now we have snow on the ground and we're forecasted six to six to 12 inches today. Uh, I don't think we'll get it, but we'll soon find out. At least the roads are clear. That's a blessing. God has given us the moisture and keeping our roads clear. I love that. Uh, it's very cold, 33 degrees here right now. Uh, wind chill factor, uh, probably 25 maybe and uh, but it's it's really very pretty out uh, it's light snow right now uh, but God is good we're blessed and we're highly favored that's for sure and excited about what God is doing I'm going to be coming back with you tonight I uh, got something on my spirit I hopefully we're gonna finish the uh, scripture in Genesis 1 and 28 where we talk about uh, God blessed them and said unto them be fruitful, multiply, replenish, subdue, and have dominion. And then we're going to go over those things that God dealt with when he gave us dominion over. So uh, please uh, do join us tonight. Uh, it'll probably be 5.30, 6, 6.30 somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, just keep an eye open for us. We're going to come out. We're going to have a great time in God. I just, I'm excited about it and uh, we're blessed. There's our trash container. <laughs> I know that's not something that needs to be seen, but there we go. Trying to switch it where we are truly blessed. Uh, and I, I want you to understand that it don't matter what's going on in, in life in general, the Bible said, this is the day. And I've said it before. This is the day. This is it. Sometimes we question. Sometimes we wonder. Sometimes we, God, what in the world? And I know I do. God, what are you doing? You know, do you not realize I'm your child? I'm down here. But this is the day. This is the season God has for his people. And so I don't panic about all the governmental issues. I don't panic about the presidential race. Uh, I, I don't panic about, uh, you know, uh, Trump or Hillary. I don't, I'm, I'm not concerned about those are minor things. Those are so minor because I know I serve a sovereign God that is majestic all by himself. And I know that the Bible said in second Chronicles seven fourteen, if my people. He didn't say Trump. He didn't say Hillary Clinton. He didn't say Ted Cruz. He didn't, he didn't mention none of the presidential uh, non candidates. He said, if my people whom are called by my name, in other words, summoned or ordered by the character of God, if my people whom are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, forget your, t your church title. You know, forget it. Forget what hangs over your door. God does not live in your physical church building. He lives in you. If my people whom are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, not my hand, my face. It's important. Genesis said that the spirit of God moved up on the what? The face of the waters. My Lord, the countenance, the face of the waters. So he said, well, seek my face and turn. Don't just seek his face. Do something. Turn from your wicked ways. He said, then I will hear from heaven. I've always said it and I will continue to say it. Here God is sovereign all by himself. God is omnipotent, omnipresent. He is everything. He is the beginning and the end. Who is so important that God is waiting to hear from them? He said, then I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. 
Think about it. It's yours and my praise that he, God hears. That's what he hears. Didn't he say it in the book of Exodus? He says, I have heard and seen the affliction of my people by reason of their taskmasters. God is waiting on the body of Christ. It's not about fasting seven days, 21 days, 55 days, 150 days. It's just about a heartfelt, the Bible said, the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man. He didn't say a 120 day fast. He didn't say a seven day fast. He didn't say a 10 day fast. He said the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. You know, a child can speak to his mom or his dad three words, and it will cause mom and daddy to have a desire to move the world for them. When that little child in those innocent eyes looks up at mommy or daddy and says, I love you, mommy. I love you, daddy. Mom and daddy have this sudden rage of desire to want to move mountains for them. No, there's nothing wrong. I, did, I never said there was anything wrong with fasting. I never said that, Sister Janet. Ne not one time did I ever say that. But you know, when that child speaks one thing, when that child decrees, I love you, mommy or daddy, he creates a desire in them to want to move mountains. When we begin to fall in love with God all over again, it makes him want to move mountains for us. And I want to reiterate, I never one time said fasting was wrong. I said, the Bible said the effectual fervent prayer. A lot of people just fast out of tradition. I never said it, it was wrong. I said the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. I've got to go. Have a great day. This is Dr. Michael Smith saying, this is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And whatever you do, do not ever forget that something good is going to happen to you. I look forward to seeing you tonight on the Warriors broadcast. God bless you is my prayer.